Okay, this one is one on gas cocks. Gas cocks are placed in uh, the natural gas line, could be propane too, uh, near the furnace. Uh, I think they're required to be minimum six feet from the furnace so that you can shut the valve off if there's a problem with the furnace and cut all gas supply off. Uh, quarter turn, every one of them are quarter turn that I've ever seen. And here's three types. This one here is the old boy. This is a tapered fit. I will take this thing apart in a little bit and you can take a look at it. Uh, this is uh, the most common valve you'll see now. Now this is a uh, uh, ball valve. If I close it you can see the ball has closed and then as I open it you can see it opens up. Uh, then that valve is fine. This one here this is what we call the butterball. Now this used to be real common, but because it's expensive, it's gotten replaced by this one. Uh, this is by far the best valve I've ever seen for this use. I've never had one leak. I've never had one break. You notice the real heavy bosses where the threads are. Uh, it is not a full flow valve, meaning this has actually got a butterfly in it. Uh, but I've never seen this valve leak. I have seldom seen this valve leak, but this valve also has, because it's a ball, it's got a separate uh, fitting right here that's screwed on there, and that is a potential leak. It's been pretty good. Uh, hasn't had too much trouble. If I had my druthers, I'd take the butterball over anything because they're just bulletproof valves. Now, the one I really want to talk about is this one. This was the old standard. This is what everybody used. And it's an absolute piece of crap. Uh, I just took this off out of a junk pile. I cannot close it. I tried it even on a vice and I couldn't close it. Uh, many times I have seen these valves with this handle broken off. Because someone put a crescent wrench on it or something like that or a pipe or something and tried to turn it off and couldn't get it to shut off. Uh, they're dangerous. They leak. There's good chance for leaks here and here. I'm going to take this thing apart and you can see how it... Uh, how it works inside and we'll see why it fails. Okay, now the valve's apart. This is actually a taper type valve. When you put it in here, it's kind of a taper fit. Now you see it turns okay now, but if I put the uh, nut on the end of this thing, and I'm not going to try to tighten it up, but if I put the nut on it, that is going to tighten down the taper and I've oftentimes seen where people had leaks in these things so they tightened this nut down so that it would stop leaking it stopped leaking but you couldn't turn the valve because the tighter that's in there the tighter I push this down in there the harder it is to turn now you can disassemble a valve Clean all this crap off and re-grease it. There's a special grease just made for these things. Don't even bother. It's not worth the trouble. For one thing, if you take this apart, that means the gas meter's got to be shut off. So when you shut the gas meter off, you might as well just put one of these in there. Just take it out and put one of those in. Uh, anyway, this valve is garbage. Uh, if you see it, don't use it. Uh, at the bare minimum, if I was working on a piece of equipment and had one of these valves on it, 
I would check to see if it turned and check to see if it leaked. Either way, whether it leaked or not, uh, I would recommend replacement. If I couldn't turn it, I would uh, not recommend replacement. I would not leave the house until I had replaced it. Now, I mean, there can be issues with that. Customer may not want to pay or anything like that, but I'd rather take this valve out and put something like this in and not charge the customer than leave it because it's dangerous. So anyway, get rid of this valve. It's junk.